Hi, I'm Alex Howard, and I'm here with Tanya Page, who is Director of Nutrition at the Optum Health Clinic. Hi, Tanya. Hi. And in this video, we're just going to talk a little bit about some of the work we do in the nutrition department with fibromyalgia. Um, now, Tanya, I know there's a lot of different ways we can work with fibromyalgia, lots of different directions we can go in, but one of the key areas can be mitochondrial function. Mm. So maybe just briefly to explain what mitochondrial function is and why it can be so important with, with the pain that goes along with fibromyalgia and I guess also briefly the energy production side for people that have fatigue with fibromyalgia. Absolutely. So um, the mitochondria are the little parts of the cells that produce energy. Um, we know that in um, many of the people we work with, um, the mitochondria aren't working quite as they should, they're not producing um, the energy they should. Um, and that may be for a number of reasons, whether it be lack of raw materials, um, lack of ability to recycle energy, um, and there may be blockages caused by various toxicity or heavy metals or um, other factors. Um, so it's an area we look at um, quite often with, um, with most of the patients we work with, but when it comes to fibromyalgia, um, it's essentially, we, one of the big areas we want to look at is to see what's actually going on in terms of energy production because there are a lot of mitochondria in muscles. Yes. Um, so um, when the mitochondria are not working as they should, then the things you tend to notice are the things, the, the areas of the body that use most um, mitochondria yeah. or need most mitochondria, which are the muscles and the brain. Um, so that's often where people feel it first. And also it's worth saying that for people watching this video, the charts that you've also been able to have a look at are a report, ME, CFS and fibromyalgia in the 21st century, where about halfway through the report it talks about mitochondrial function with some diagrams in more detail. Mm -hmm. um, but as I know you're about to go on to say that there's also therefore a correlation with the, the mitochondria in the muscles and the pain that people can be yeah. experiencing. Yeah. So what happens if, if the level of energy going into the muscles is not as it should be, then the muscles essentially have no option but to go to a different way of producing energy and they'll go to what we call anaerobic respiration, mm. i.e. without oxygen, um, and that's what produces lactic acid. So uh, Joe Public, normal Joe Public, healthy, when they're running or doing something too much, they get to the point where um, they start to get um, pain and, uh, and almost a burning sensation in the muscles, that's basically when you've overdone it and the body's run out of energy and it's gone to anaerobic respiration. So for many of our patients, they're in that on a permanent mm -hmm. basis. So there just isn't enough energy to, to, to go around. So lactic acid gets produced. Lactic acid causes that sort of burning deep pain in the, in the muscles. Um, and essentially you need to rest to allow that to um, dissipate but m many patients actually have it to the point where the pain never goes away yes so that's obviously a, a much more difficult situation uh, for the patient and where we'd straight away look at mitochondrial dysfunction yeah. and I know that there's a very long answer to this question but I guess um, in brief how would we look at that and what kind of thing would we do about it the easiest way to look at what's going on is to test, to do some blood testing for mitochondrial function. Then we can see exactly what raw materials are missing, um, what we need to put in, um, and whether there are any blockages um, that are causing this dysfunction, and therefore what to do about that. Once we know what the problem is, we can, we can get that out of the body and, and, and get the, the, essentially the energy cycle going again. Um, so it's very specific to the person. Yeah, um, yeah. And that's something that if someone um, wants to find out more about, they can of course do in a free 15 minute chat, which we'll mention at the end. Yeah. Um, just maybe one other area um, which might be worth mentioning, you know, each of these areas we can talk about for a long time. Yeah. But, um, I know that also neurotransmitters can be um, a key component in fibromyalgia. So maybe just mm. briefly talk a little bit about that as well. Yeah, um, essentially we would always check out um, neurotransmitter balance in someone with fibromyalgia 
um, the, the well-known um, issue with fibromyalgia is low levels of serotonin, which is your happy hormone, um, happy chemical in the brain. Um, and low level, levels of serotonin um, create a, a, a much more acute feeling of pain than you would ordinarily get. So for the same stimulus, with low levels of serotonin, you have more pain. Um, there's also something that's been identified, which is another neurotransmitter called substance P, and they found this to be at higher levels in um, people with fibromyalgia, um, and that basically makes you much more sensitive to pain. Um, so there are a number of things you can do with, with diet, uh, with supplements, to rebalance the, uh, the neurotransmitters and produce more serotonin yeah. at the end of the day, yeah. and that can often help. Yeah, no, that makes sense. And obviously, I'm sure people can see watching the video that there's, there's a lot of details we could go into here. Yeah. But really the best thing, if you want to find out more and to see if um, the nutrition work we do at the clinic could be a benefit, then you can arrange a free 15-minute chat with either Tanya or one of the practitioners in the nutrition team where you can get your own questions answered. And it's a great way of just finding out if what we do may be of benefit to you. Um, so thank you, Tanya. Thank you for watching and we look forward to hopefully seeing you very soon in one of these videos and also having the chance to talk with you in a free 15 minute chat. Thanks for watching.